Airport. Oh, <laughs> Malibu Barbie was always my favorite. Uh, and you do make the perfect can. Oh, yep, I do. Just totally smooth. Now, quick, quick, quick. I've got some donors here. I want to call you by name. Vanessa Crouch, thank you for $500. Andrew Dirks, $400. Michael Vassallo, $250. Daniel Watts, $250. Matthew Crump or Crumpy? Crump, we'll say Crump. Uh, 200 and anonymous donors of $500 and $500. That's great. If you want to be anonymous, we will take it and thank you. We see you, even though you're anonymous. I think it's the Senate Republican, <laughs> Mitch McConnell, who made the donation. Just, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> and speaking of Mitch McConnell, Trixie Mattel ate that. Wait, that sounds weird. And for all of you watching at home, if you were at brunch or a bar or a show, or you would be tipping these queens just like a respectful audience. I yeah. think that that would be you true. Would. Hold on, breaking news from the mothership. We have a huge, we have a huge, huge donation what? of, wait for it, $10,000. No! From who? Janie Coira. Yes. Janie, 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 Janie. <laughs> yes. yes. Now, we need you guys to tip these queens like all those pandemic shows where we tipped on Venmo, watching a queen in her kitchen in front of a curtain with a ring light in a dream doing stay-at-home drag on Instagram Live. Ah, uh, what a time that was. Now, so since all of those, uh, since all of these queens and performers donated their time and talents, you can send your tips to the telethon directly on Moment. That's right. No sweaty crinkle dollars for those queens to smooth out in a hotel room at 3 a.m. <laughs> Donate directly at GoFundMe.com slash drag isn't dangerous or tip on the moment broadcast and our queens and celebs are standing by to take your calls. Mm -hmm. And they are doing great at answering the phones they now. <laughs> but our very own host and esteemed director Adam Shankman did some phone bank coaching this week with some of our queens just to, you know, get them ready and I gotta say it did not go very well. Well, okay. Well, hi. Oh, hi, Adam. Alaska, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule today and joining us here. I thought we would take this time right now to practice working the phone bank. How's that sound? Sure. Great. I'll be the caller and you'll take my donation, okay? Okay. Great. Here we go. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. Wait, I have questions. That's a phone? What's my character? Yes, pick it up. Like this? <sighs> Do you know how a phone works? Yes. <laughs> Are you okay, Adam? Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Hello? Where am I coming from? What's driving me? The Uber home if you don't answer the phone. I see. So there's an urgency. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. Boo. I don't have any money. Let's try a more standard greeting. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. This is just how I speak into the abyss. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Okay, well, we're raising money. Is that something you have any experience in? I've raised the data publication. I think we're done here. Johnny, I told you I'm not coming back to that one horse town. I'm a star, so just let me go. But remember me always, Johnny, Johnny. Charlie, can you hear me? <laughs> Was that good? Yes. It's easy. <laughs> Tell me, Adam, I have a question. What was more challenging, directing the entire movie musical of Hairspray with drag, music, set, costumes, and choreography, or trying to teach drag queens to answer a telephone? Oh. Well, it was challenging working with the drag queen. Oh, you're not talking about... Oh, okay, sorry. It was the drag queens in the phone. Oh, yes, yes. Now, Alaska and I are excited to have our first guest here in the studio. Please welcome the Vice President of Communications for GLAAD, Anthony Allen Ramos. Yeah. Hi, Anthony. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Thanks for being 
Thank you for being My here. My goodness, thank you for having me. The first guest yeah, right? in the studio. It's amazing. So listen, Anthony, yep. you're so often the one um, asking the questions and you know conducting the interviews. Yes. I wanted to turn the tables on you. Who was the most surprising interview that you've ever done, you think? So I think as we're here today, allyship is so important. And we at GLAAD have been working mm -hmm. to really work with our big star allies. So maybe not the most surprising, but the best, most recent one was Shania Twain. Oh. She made it so, it was so important to her to spotlight our drag queens. And she had amazing sound bites of just support and love and talked about how she was inspired by them. She had great stories about going to see them when she, you know, was in Nashville. And so listen, when someone is like a global superstar like Shania Twain yeah. says, you know what, drag queens, I love you. I'm here for you. It's a big deal. Yeah, she's always been known as uh, such a kind and generous giving person Absolutely. to that and to all the communities. And so I love hearing that. Yeah, and she showed up to uh, some of the award shows with some queer talent. I love it. She's really doubling down on her allyship to the community and especially drag queens. And it's especially cool given that her chosen genre is country and it's very yeah. you know, southern based and all that. So. And that's a huge priority for GLAAD. We are trying to work and do all that we can um, in country music, Nashville mm -hmm. and beyond because we know there's so much work that needs to be done. But there is little bits of glimmers of hope. I know Tennessee is really tough for drag right now. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to acceptance for queer artists in Nashville, um, there are little bits of, of hope. So we're really trying to do everything we can. That's glad. fantastic to yeah. hear. So, with the many battles the LGBTQ plus community is fighting right now, what do you and GLAAD see as the urgent priorities that those who are watching now can focus on? Listen, I mean, we are at a time where our trans brothers and sisters are, are under attack, and it's, mm -hmm. it's, that is where we, our focus is in the, in the movement right now. You know, we've yeah. seen for the most part, um, people are, are okay with gay people. They are, you know, fine with lesbians, but you know, unfortunately for the trans community, um, it's really tough, and we are doing everything that we can to, um, you know, support them, tell their stories, change the narrative of what's happening. And of course, why we're all here, drag is <laughs> under attack. And, um, you know, GLAAD is, you know, GLAAD has always known how important drag is and the amazing art um, that these queens do is so important and beloved and, and wonderful and inspiring. And so look, I mean, in this moment, that's where we're at. We are gonna step up and support our beloved drag queens, you know, more than ever. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Anthony. Thank you for having me. Congrats. If you want to learn more about GLAD's, uh, GLAD's work, go to GLAD.org. That's G-L-A-A-D.org. There are drag queens, performers, and friends everywhere in our country, and so many of them wanted to join us tonight in solidarity, just like Alaska. Mm -hmm. So they created a brand new performance, they created brand new performance videos and exclusive content for this telethon that we will be sharing all night long. Now, action! It's like you're a real director or something. <laughs> right. I try.
Oh. I mean, Peppermint, watching those videos from SNG and Laguna Blue and seeing all of you, I honestly don't know how drag queens do it. I mean, what do you mean, Justin? Like, I can't imagine doing all those splits and shablams and dips. Like, I wake up hurting every morning. I just make guttural sounds just getting off of my couch. Uh, what kind of sounds oh, do you Oh, I'll tell make? you. Just like this. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, okay. I know, it's okay, a lot. Wait. I'm so sorry. We gotta move on. But yeah. before we do, I want to give a special shout out to Sarah Fleming, who donated $1,000. Come on, Sarah. Heather Ramirez, $550. Yes. George Snyder, $500, who's also one of the owners of This Is It in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with Trixie Mattel. Thank you. And for the rest of you who are still waiting to donate, please go to the website or scan the QR code and donate right now. And while our queens and celebrities here talk to you at home, let's hear what some others have to say around this country. Hi, I'm Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Um, there's a few things that I really love. I love uh, our First Amendment rights. I love um, um, dr drag performers. I love joy. I love creativity. I love humor. Uh, and these are all reasons why I am adding my voice in support of drag performers and trans performers. Um, who, who doesn't know better than to mess with a drag queen? Honey. Politicians across the country right now are trying to criminalize drag shows. Some of my favorite nights are attending a drag show because everybody there is being their true authentic self. And who are we as humans to tell anybody who they can or cannot be? I proudly support the LGBTQ community. I stand next to you. I stand behind you, in front of you, in top of you. I love all of you. I'm Danielle Cabral from The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and I love drag, and I would love it if you supported it with me. Drag is joy. It's a celebration of all the things that make queer people who we are. Drag is an amazing way to, to, to bring light to the world, and these lawmakers are terrified of just how brightly we're shining. They're using children as an excuse to take one more thing away from us. Well, they're clearly threatened that we are living our truth, that we aren't apologizing for it anymore, and using the children as th this tool against us, it, it doesn't make any sense. If they cared about children, they would care about all children. These laws could be very easily manipulated in order to target and punish people in our community. So let's come together and protect our drag entertainers in our community and protect the freedom of speech that we all have a right to in this country. Hey there, this is Melissa McCarthy and I just want to add my voice in support of drag and trans artists everywhere. Without makeup and wigs, I wouldn't even have a job. Artists are artists and our voices will not be silenced if we work together. So please give generously and let's protect entertainment and joy in our First Amendment rights and the rights of our trans brothers and sisters to live safely in this country. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's pose for this selfie. Justin, oh. you ready? One, two. Yeah. And let's get our phone bank to pose for a selfie. Oh. One, two. Oh. Phone Bank is doing such a great job. Now, do we have an update on how much we are at right now? We just crossed $100,000. $100,000? I mean! Uh, I can't believe it, but I believe it. I believe it. And that means keep those donations coming more and more. We need to help these organizations. If That's true. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> You gonna talk to the gal? Oh, we have a phone bank check-in. I want to check in. Oh, we've got the star of Queer Eye. We have Jay Rodriguez here. Oh my gosh! I, I'm yeah. literally on the phone with someone donating, and I've got Justin here. Yeah. Um, this is a very special experience because this is actually that. really live. Yeah. I, I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to Justin. And I'm oh talking God. to you, the viewer. Where are they Stanford from? Who are they? Uh, where, where exactly are you from right now? Where are you calling um, from? I'm, I'm from I'm from the suburbs of Chicago. The suburbs of Chicago. She's been going through a really yeah. tricky, difficult financial time, but uh, thought this was really important, so she donated it was actually what she I came could. Out. 
she just recently came out and she felt it was really important to give to the community That's, even though she herself is going through a hard Thank time. you so much. We really appreciate that. Now, Crab, who are you with? Wow. I'm speaking yeah. to someone from Florida who's having, you know, they're facing all of this stuff like head on because yeah. it's happening in their state. And what would you like to say to the people? We're on live. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would just like to say thank you for doing it. We love you here in Florida. I'm Aww. a teacher in Florida. And... I make sure that all my kids are loved, and I want everybody to know that we love you in Florida. We're here to protect all of our kids. And special love to all of our trans children and trans families. And we love you all, and thank you all for doing this. It's a beautiful evening, and we're so grateful for your art and everything you do. Oh, that's so wonderful. That's great. Yeah. So now I think we're going to throw it over to Adam. Yes? <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we are. <laughs> well, who needs a prompter? Guys, well, come on. I'll tell you, you what. We're, doing We're it excited live. to bring you a live performance That's here in the right. studio. He's a recording artist, a star of film, TV, and Broadway, and a buddy of mine. <laughs> Yes, and he also starred with me in Drag, the musical at the Bourbon Room. So please welcome my dear friend, Joey McIntyre. Ah, and the newest kid on the block, his son, Griffin McIntyre. Hi. Uh... Amazing. <laughs> Joey, before we start, I would really like to know what made you choose to be a part of Drag the Musical and uh, be here today in person to show your support. Well, uh, the music was kick-ass, mm. the script was funny and had mm -hmm. a ton of heart, and the cast was chock full of amazing talent. Wow. And they did it all in heels, and I couldn't complain because everyone was doing it in heels. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I learned a lot, and it was amazing. And I'm here for obvious reasons, because um, freedom. I'm here for freedom. For freedom. Yes. Thank you, Joey. Yeah. Now, would you be so kind as to serenade us in song? We'd love to. We'd love oh to. Oh my gosh, I live. Yeah. I'm so excited. This is a song I wrote a while back. It's called Stay the Same. And I've heard over the years. Um, please, Griffin. I'll, I'll speak. Over.
Okay, home, coming up. Home coming, base, coming, home coming, base. Coming, coming. coming. Father oh. and son performing together. I love that. I think they've got mm, the right stuff. Oh my God, Peppermint, I have never been more proud of a pun. Oh, uh, I see you. You do. Oh, uh, all right. Everyone watching at home, scan that QR code and donate, whether you're watching on Moment, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. But first, hold on. We have some donors here. Okay. Uh, I want to read them off. We've got Danielle Morgado, who donated $1,000. Jason Tan with $1,000. Josh Armstrong with $1,000. Jay and K with 666. Okay, Demon, let's go. Michael and Jody Jacobs, 500. Stephen Buffano, 500. Corey Kinger, $500. That's amazing. Woo! Donate wherever you can Facebook, Instagram, all of the social media places, or wherever you want. Which is drag isn't dangerous. Mm -hmm. And speaking of social media, Where? you can also watch it on TikTok. Oh my God! Hello, oh. Jolene Brzezinski. Wait, are you live on TikTok right now? I am. Everybody, say hello. Oh my God! Hi, your angle. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is great. We love it here on TikTok and dragisn'tdangerous.com. It's not dangerous. Hi, everybody. I love TikTok. I love watching makeup tutorials and queens perform. And my TikTok is a little different. Um, it starts with yours? like a cute puppy befriending a duck. Mm. And then like six hours later, my eyes are bloodshot and I'm screaming in horror watching my 87th video of a guy oh. in gray sweatpants. Right. Are you sure that's TikTok? Because, you know, because, <laughs> because. of Yeah. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Julian, thank you so much for being with us. Yes. Thank and you. Uh, thank you. hey, TikTok, do not forget to donate. We're trying to get to five million. Come on, TikTok. We see you. We need you. Let's go. Thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you for coming, Stop Julian. Oh. Bye. Thank you. I hope you have a safe Oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now a message from a den mother to so many. She's a judge, mm -hmm. a mentor, an icon, and honestly, the best thing to come out of New Jersey since ever. Okay. All right then. The one and only, the matriarch of drag, Michelle Visage. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Michelle Visage, and I would love to say I'm so happy to be here. But the truth is, I'm actually appalled that I have to be at something called Drag Isn't Dangerous in 2023. The fact that we're having to say drag isn't dangerous is beyond, over my head. I can't even imagine what people are thinking in this world where everything is so kind of bleak right now. Drag is one of the few things that brings us joy and brings us color and brings us artistry. Imagine we lived in a world where people would tell dancers they can no longer dance because it's hurting our children or telling a painter they can no longer take a brush to canvas because of what it's doing to society. It's absolute garbage. And that is what's happening to our incredibly talented, beautiful and gifted drag performers. This cannot happen anymore. Our brothers and sisters did not fight the good fight before us, so we would end up here. So, just so you know, there are many of us out here that are have very big mouths like I do, that are fighting the fight, walking the walk, and talking the talk. All of you out there that love drag and the colors and the talent that it brings, thank you so much for donating. Thank you so much for speaking up. That's what we do as members of the LGBTQIA family or as allies. It is our job to be as vocal as we can to shut this nonsense down. So to every single queen out there that has ever donned a wig and some heels, thank you for your service. I love you and I love your art. And don't forget, it is art and it's not to be messed with. I love you. Thank you and stay strong.
like those from Tolliver and Z Machine makes me think about how important our bars and community spacers are. Justin, do you remember your first gay bar? Oh, do I? I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, oh, it was the Village Station in Dallas, Texas, now known as S4, and it was my first time seeing a drag show in the legendary Rose Room. I still remember the first queens I saw there was Cassie Nova, Whitney Page, Crystal Summers, and Calexis Davenport. I went all the time when I first came out and had those permanent marker X's on my hands at all times. What about yours, Peppermint? Uh, my first experience at a drag show was a place called Porky's you in call Wilmington, <laughs> Delaware. Uh, Thursday night was drag night, and Wednesday night, I discovered, was country line dancing night. Work. <laughs> See, our queer spaces are so important, and they have such an impact on us. For so many of us, they are the first places that we felt comfortable being ourselves. That's right. It really is. And we have to support LGBTQ plus spaces where and when we can. Up in Wisconsin, Trixie Mattel went home to the bar where she started. This is it. What is it? No, that's the name of the bar. This uh, is it. Oh, okay. Let's take a look. 